Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, we are going to make the crack cocaine of keto. Puppy chow. Now, I think the first time I had puppy chow was probably in grade school at some sort of a school fair thing where all the moms were making cupcakes and candy and things like that. And one of my friends had this little baggie of this chocolate and powdered sugar covered Chex Mix. And I said, what's that? And he said, puppy chow. And I ate it and couldn't stop eating it. Which also kind of makes this recipe dangerous because it's hard to stop eating it. This recipe was submitted to me by viewer Molly Block. So Molly, thank you for this. This is super, super yummy. Let's get to making it. We start with one bag of pork rinds in the three to three and a half ounce size. Any of the ones that are bite size go into the bowl. Bigger than bite size, break into smaller pieces. Do this for the entire bag. Now we'll set this aside while we make our chocolate. You're going to want to do this over the lowest heat setting you have. I find that at higher heat settings, some sweeteners will crust up, they'll kind of uh, glob together. So keep it low and slow. We'll start with four tablespoons of butter, salted as preferred. One quarter cup of coconut oil. And an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once your butter and coconut oil are melted, whisk in three tablespoons of sweetener. I'm using an erythritol monk fruit stevia blend here. You can use Swerve, you can use Boca Sweet. I might shy away from straight up erythritol though. I think the cooling effect could be a little too strong on that. When our butter is dissolved, we will add one quarter cup of natural peanut butter. Sorry you missed that, I didn't have the record button pressed again. We'll stir that in, along with three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. Continue whisking for a good minute or two. We want to make sure that we don't have any clumps of peanut butter or cocoa powder. Then we'll remove this from the heat and pour it over our pork rinds. Next, you can use a spoon to mix, or if you have viewers that are always telling you how sexy it looks when you use plastic gloves, you can use plastic gloves to toss these and make sure that all of the pork rinds are coated. Then dump them onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or a silicone mat. Do your best to spread into an even layer. And then we'll top this with one to two tablespoons of Swerve Confectioners. I find that you can just sprinkle it on, but probably a better method is to dust them with a sieve like this. If you just want to hit one side, one tablespoon is probably sufficient. If you want to hit both sides, flip them over and hit it with the second tablespoon. I got a feeling one tablespoon is going to be good enough for me. Now we're going to pop these into the fridge for about an hour. If you don't have the fridge space and you live in Wisconsin, where right now it is three degrees below zero, you can use your garage. After this is chilled, we're going to transfer it to a storage container or Ziploc bag. Let's give it a taste. Mm. This is so good. This is absolutely going to give you flashbacks to eating this stuff as a child. The full printable recipe along with macros will be on my website, which I will link to below. Now, periodically the clean keto folks will accuse me of feeding the addiction, the sugar and sweets addiction of other keto people. And in this particular recipe, I am kind of guilty as charged. This stuff is addictive. So 
even though it is low carb, it's very easy to want to sit down and just keep eating it. So portion it, pace yourself, and enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and while you're at it, hit the little bell next to it so you're notified whenever I release a new video. Thanks for watching.